Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this lesson deals with compound figures. I'm not going to write the basic area notes down again because you already have the basic area notes. You did these yesterday. You know what? No, I'm changing my mind. We are doing the basic area notes again. Here we go. Basic area notes. And if you're like, hey, I'm just gonna show Mr. Barr the notes from yesterday. Yeah, you can try that, but there's a good chance I'm just gonna ask to see both days worth of notes. So you're gonna have to have this thinking map done twice. So I've got the square rectangle. There should be an L there, triangle, take that E out. The, um, the triangle. and the circle. So the square rectangle is area equals base times height. And here's the picture that goes with it. Area equals base times height. For the triangle, area equals 1 half base times height. And for the circle, it's pi r squared. It's my radius. And I know that r squared is r times r. Okay, I've got these, and now let's do some problems. So the, the big idea here is to break up the shape into shapes that you can work with. So you're actually done with the notes, but you should at least watch a couple of these. So I'm going to break it up into shapes that I know and that I can work with. Let me get my drawing tools available. So I'm going to break this thing up right here. There we go. And I'm going to highly recommend that when you're doing these that you're drawing pictures and helping yourself out as you work with it. So this guy right here, this is 3 times 4, so the area of that's just 12. And this guy right here is 16 times 9, 16 times 9, which is 144. And this, this is a quarter of a circle, right? So this is pi r squared, but I only want a fourth of it, so I'm going to divide it by 4. So pi r squared, so 3.14 times 4 times 4. So the entire circle is 50.24. But I don't want the entire circle. I only want a fourth of it. So I'll divide that by 4. 12.56. And now I need to add those three numbers together. So twelve. 0.56 divided by 4. Interesting, that takes me to pi. Oh, it's already divided by 4, excuse me. 12.56, 12.56 plus 144 plus 12. I'm up at 168.56. 168.56, 168.56. So just breaking it up into little pieces. Let's try another one. All right, let's break this thing up. Hmm. Now I'm going to break it here. And then I'm going to break it there, like that. There we go, it's broken up. And let's go find the area of this. So this is 5 times 6, which is? 30. And this is 9 by, well, what's the height of this? Well, the height of it is 4, right? Right here is 4. And right there is 6. So this whole thing is 10. This is 9 by 10, which is 90. Hmm. 
now I've got this triangle. Well, the base is 12. This triangle, let's be careful with it. What's the entire, what's this entire distance from here to there? Well, that's 16 plus 4 plus 6. 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 6 is 26. So the entire thing is 26. But let's subtract out the 5. So 26 minus 5, this is 21. So this is 21 right here. So my triangle is 21 by 12. So 1 half, 21, 12, is 126. Add them all together, 30 plus 90 plus 126 gives me 246. That's the total area. And I know what people want to do over here. You wanted to do, actually I don't know what you wanted to do. I know that 21 is tough to find. All right, 246, 246, that's it. So break it up into pieces. Highly recommend that you draw these pictures in a, on a piece of paper and then break it up. Because without being able to break it up and draw things, it's gonna become really difficult. Thanks for watching.